Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I am going to do a first impressions of the NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint. Um, this is in the color Alaska. Um, I am pretty fair right now, so, um, and I'm sure it's gonna stay that way because I don't plan on going really uh, tanning during the winter time on like fall. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and give you guys a briefing on what this product is all about and what it claims to be. Velvet Matte Skin Tint Broad Spectrum SPF 30 effortlessly protects or perfects and protects with a soft matte finish. The oil-free formula wears comfortably, maintaining skin's natural moisture barrier while working to control shine throughout the day helps to blur imperfections, even the look of skin tone, and smooth the appearance of pores and fine lines. Um, soft matte, soft touch, simply glide and go. Um, just so you know, I have kind of a, I guess, dry to combination. I, I do tend to be very dry um, and then have a um, oily T-zone. So I'm very interested to see how this is going to hold up over the um, day. So what I'll do is apply it, finish my makeup, check in with you guys throughout the day, and then do the final um, impression at the end of the day. So let's get started. And here is the packaging. So I'm not really sure. Oh, I gotta peel this off. It has like a little sticker. So you know this is fully a first impression because I have not opened this yet. I did swatch it, of course, in the store, but um, I didn't apply it to my face at all. So I'm really hoping that what I picked out in the store is good for good for me. So I am just going to put about that much for now. Um, it's pretty thick. It's not super runny or anything like that. I would say it's pretty pretty similar to just like a regular BB cream. So I just applied it all over my face in just little dots. I do have redness, obviously dark circles, the joy. So let's see how this covers. This is with the first layer. I feel like it covers pretty well, although I feel like I want a little bit more coverage. So I'm going to apply just a little bit more. Yeah, that looks really good. And I do think this is definitely the color for me. Let's do the other side. Okay, so this is the final product with two layers on each side. Um, again, really great coverage. Um, I still, of course, have dark circles and stuff. I didn't really put anything under there, but even if I just use a little bit of the beauty blender remaining, it actually, actually seems to cover pretty well. So this is the final look of the application. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my makeup and I will be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back. I just finished my face and um, yeah, I am liking it I think so far. It definitely is hard to get off. I try, I, you know, I put some on my hand and so I tried to wash my hands and it was kind of tough. So. I mean, that's good. It should have some staying power throughout the day. Um, I don't have anything um, like pressed powder or anything like that or any kind of translucent powder other than underneath my eyes. So, and I don't have a primer on. So I really wanted to make sure that I am truly testing this product out for what it claims. It doesn't seem overly drying on the face. Um, I'll kind of do somewhat of a close-up. It doesn't seem to accentuate my pores. It's definitely a matte finish. Um, it looks somewhat dewy because I have highlighter and things like that on, but um, 
overall it definitely is a matte finish i'm really loving it so far um i will make sure to check back with you guys throughout the day it is currently 10 17 i will check back with you guys in a little bit so i just wanted to check in with you guys and show you what my makeup looks like um it is getting a little oily around my nose my cheeks look fine still has like a nice glow from my highlighter and everything but again hardly any shine I mean just a little bit on my nose it's like 90 degrees outside so it is pretty hot um, just running a couple shopping errands and um, again at Ulta just getting a few things but I don't know I feel like it's holding up pretty well I haven't done anything strenuous um, outside so but it is starting to get a little sweaty but so far it's looking pretty good um i think it's like 5 15 right now um so we're looking at about eight hours of wear as of right now so so far i feel like it's holding up pretty well um and i will check back with you guys at the end of the night hey everybody so this is kind of last minute but it is currently 8.11. My phone has 2% battery right now, so you can tell I am tired. Up close of my makeup. There's some areas a bit wearing off, but I literally have been like rubbing my face and things like that. Color's still good. There is some like dry patches that you can only really tell if you're really close up. Um, and it's kind of like right in here, I'm really dry. Um, there is a little bit of oil on my nose, actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be much oilier. Um, so it's just really on my nose, not really anywhere else. I think that if I was, if I had put on powder, I probably would be completely fine. So I haven't touched up or anything like that. Um, overall, I love this foundation. Um, again, it, it is kind of accentuating dry spots, but for an everyday kind of foundation, I'm not really going to be in front of, um, you know, taking flash photos or anything like that. I think it would be fine. Obviously, there's going to be flashback because there's SPF 30 in it, but I think it looks really good. Um, I definitely recommend repurchasing this. I will leave links down below on where to get it. Um, I know NARS is carried by Sephora and I'm sure you can get it, um, you know, online at the NARS website. So yeah, I think it turned out really well. Um, again, I really don't have too many complaints. So anyways, go ahead and thumbs up this video and I will see you next time. Bye.